So when a, a young person comes in, well, we can call her Caroline, we can call him Niels or whatever name you want. When they come into a music school, we tend to now show them music and give them an instrument or do this. But that's not how people come to a music school anymore. They come with their own music because they've been listening to music all their life. It's been coming at them. So the real question to ask that I think we have to ask our kids, what music do you love? What music is inside you? Now we can talk about how should we get it out of you? How can we get this music out of you? Well, if you tell me, oh, I really want to play the guitar, fine, pick up the guitar, we'll show you how. But the other way we can say is, well, here's an easy way by looking at this computer program on the iPad. Here's an easy way by just moving your finger a little bit that you can make something that you really like. And that's what we would like you to do. And now, to teach you music, I will show you how to improve that and how to make that better and add harmony and have better rhythm and have better melody. And I can do that so much more easily on a tool as flexible as an iPad than I can on a classical instrument like a violin, which takes a lifetime to master. I can do it in seconds on an iPad. What music is about is taking the musical ideas that a person has in his or her head and getting those out into the world. You can do that in many different ways. You can use an intermediary, and that's what we call an instrument. And that doesn't matter what intermediary you use, what instrument. You want one that sounds nice. You can write it down, and the machines can now do that for you so that other people can play, and you can play in ensembles, and you can play with other people. But the trick, the thing that people need to think about, and I think this generation will be much better, is not thinking of music as the struggle to play an instrument at which only a few people ever get very good. Most people stop somewhere in the middle. It will be the way to get music out of your head. And if you have it in there, and many of us have it in there without the ability to really get it out, we'll be able to sing or whistle or do whatever we want into a microphone and have it come out like a symphony orchestra or like a band or whatever kind of music we want. And by just pushing buttons and by very simple manipulations, we will be able to create the beautiful musical ideas that are in all of our heads. I think now that everybody walks around with the earbuds, we are already seeing everybody be a musician. And we don't know what that means yet, but everybody now is taking in music much more than they ever took in music in the past. Because before recording, before all this, you had to go somewhere, you had to know a musician, you had to go to a concert, you had to have somebody, you had to learn an instrument. Now the music just comes to you and comes to you. And it can be whatever you want in a huge variety. So I think our people are much more musical today than they have ever been. And we've just completed the phase of taking it in. Now we're getting to the phase of easily putting it out.